Welcome, my name is Dr. Solomon Noguta from Guru University. Today we are going to discuss about the complications of abortion. Abortion is an issue that brings strong feelings in people. These feelings are often linked to personal, religious, political, as well as medical views that may have long-term effect in the life of a woman. Most importantly, these abortions may have bad effects, and some of these complications may be life devastating that may compromise on the future fertility of a lady. We are going to look at some of the examples and then the complications of this abortion. Abortion is a termination of pregnancy before the completed 26 weeks of pregnancy. It may be induced abortion, where the mother may intend to, uh, to end up the pregnancy, or it may be spontaneous abortion, what is called miscarriage. Most of the women may experience the following side effects due to abortion. There may be bleeding that may be mild or excessive. Some, we some women may experience abdominal cramps, dizziness, drowsiness, nausea and vomiting. Those symptoms may be mild and may last for a short period of time, but others may last longer. Beside those ones, with some women may experience complications depending on the severity of damage that has been caused to the uterus. Those complications may include damage to the uterus, Damage to the uterus may come as a result of the instrument that they use to induce abortion. Depending on the degree of damage, it may cause excessive bleeding. This bleeding may put up a woman into a state of shock, whereby the tissues may lack supply of blood because of excessive bleeding. Sometimes the bleeding may put a woman in a state of anemia. Anemia is the reduced blood or hemoglobin in the body. And all those conditions, it is not good with life. And the woman needs help as uh, fast as possible. Other complication may be rupture of the uterus. There may be uterine perforation. In a state of uterine perforation, a woman needs help urgently. But badly, most of the women stays within the community and they are of low socioeconomic status. In a situation of perforation within the uterus, in other words, may require surgical intervention. But in a state of low socioeconomic status, you may find that a woman may end up not seeking for medical attention. That may put the life of a woman and then also the future fertility into a very great risk. So really, my advice is, it is important to first think of before you think of uh, inducing abortion. Other complication that may result from abortion is scarring of the uterine lining. The uterus has been designed in such a way that to enable the development of the subsequent pregnancy within the uterus lining. And there are some tissues which are important in doing such process. Now, in repeated abortion, the uterus may develop scar tissue that may affect the upcoming pregnancy, may lead to development of what is called ectopic pregnancy, which is a situation whereby the baby is not developing within the uterine cavity. The baby may end up developing within the fallopian tube, which is dangerous for the life of a woman, or it may be within the abdominal cavity, or within the cervix because of the damage that has been caused by abortion. The scarring as well may result into subsequent miscarriages and stillbirth in the upcoming pregnancy. It may also cause placenta previa. Placenta previa is anomalous location of the placenta, which is not developing within the normal position in the uterus. All those are bad in the upcoming pregnancies. Most importantly, scarring may cause uterine rupture in the subsequent pregnancy. Because of the development of the scar tissue, the uterus may not be elastic enough to expand when the subsequent pregnancy is developing. 
that will cause breaking down of the uterus or what is called a uterine rupture. Abortion is associated with the infection. Depending on the method which is used to induce abortion, it may transmit the infection to the uterus or even the fallopian tube. That will result into pelvic inflammatory disease. Now, in a situation of pelvic inflammatory disease and sepsis or septic shock, it puts the life of this woman under a very great risk because at this point we have already introduced the infection into that sterile cavity of which it may require an urgent attention. So, most of the women induce abortion within the community. Sometimes by the time they come to the facility, it's already late. That may make the uterine cavity to be removed or the woman can even lose her life. Abortion is also associated with the incomplete removal of the product of conception. That may in the long term require other surgical intervention to remove it, like dilatation and curettage. This is a surgical procedure which is carried out by the health professional. Now, some of these procedures, they also have their own consequences. So it is important not to think of doing an abortion if it is not medically indicated. And lastly, abortion may end up in the death of a woman. This may come because of those uh, complications that I talked about earlier on, maybe due to excessive bleeding, maybe due to infection. So generally, my advice is, as a lady, before you think of carrying out an abortion, really you need first to remember the health consequences that you are putting yourself into. And then also the possibility of upcoming pregnancies because some of these complications will not only affect your health, but also affect your reproductive health for the upcoming pregnancies. Thank you so much.